In this video, we're going to fix the error. Functions cannot be passed directly to client components because they're not serializable. Okay, so if you do, if you try passing a, a function like here, you may get the error that I just mentioned, or you get this error: uh, event handlers cannot be passed. Right, so here I'm passing a function, and I'm actually trying to use that as an event handler here for on click. Right, so I get that function here, and I'm going to run that function when there is a click event. So here. Um, it's the same issue. Uh, the reason is I'm using Next.js 13, the app directory. All the components in here by default are server components. So if you're using an on-click, first of all, that's gonna that's gonna be a, a client feature. So you need to make this a client component. And Next.js can already see this is going to be a client component because even if I make this a client component, this won't solve the, the error because um, we're trying to send a, a function from the server to the client and it's going to be serialized as, it, as it's called, but you cannot properly serialize a function. Some constructs in JavaScript cannot be serialized properly. Also, for example, date objects. Right, so some things you cannot easily send from server to client. It's not serializable as it's properly called. Um, so this won't work. So what, what does work is if you make both of them client components. So what you can do, and I, this is not ideal because so high up in the tree, this page, you don't want to make it a client component. But um, now if we do this, if I refresh here, we don't have that error anymore. So this is this is possible. If you really want to pass a function as a prop, um, and you really, there's no way around that, you really need to do that, you can do this. And then you can also remove this use client here, because if you're importing a, a component, here in a client component, this will automatically also become a client component, right? So uh, this will work, but it's not ideal because you're using use client so high up in the React tree. So you may you may be importing other components that don't need to become a client component, but now because they're imported here, you're also going to use them as client components, right? So even though those components could perfectly could be perfectly fine staying server components, right? So uh, Make sure you understand all of that and hopefully this uh, fixed your issue. By the way, if this was helpful, I'd really appreciate it if you could like and subscribe. Also, check out my courses on CSS and JavaScript if you want to take those skills to an advanced level. Because in there, we will build some beautiful real-world projects from scratch so you can see how everything fits together and really master CSS or JavaScript. And I will also release other courses soon like React and Node.js. So if you want to be notified, then make sure you are subscribed to the email newsletter. You can find the link in the description. Thanks for watching and I hope to see you soon.